Happy Friday, athletes. Welcome to your CrossFit Cure at Home workout for August 7th. Let's go ahead and get right into our warm up, which is two rounds of 30 seconds of each of the following movements. The first is going to be scorpion stretch. So laying on your stomach, arms out, bringing your feet up and across, um, alternating to the opposite hand. You can go a little slower for these. We're going for 30 seconds. So maybe hold each one for a second or two. Really reach with your foot to get a nice deep stretch there. Then we're gonna go 30 seconds each side of the groiner stretch. This is like a deep lunge, but we are bringing our hands down to the floor, but it is different than the elbow to instep because we are not bringing our elbow down. We're just gonna keep our arms straight here. Um, so less of a stretch um, for our upper body here, more about that deep lunge. Then we're gonna go 30 seconds of leg swings each side, whichever you wanna do, front to back, side to side. There's two rounds, so it makes sense to do one direction one round and the other direction on the second round. Then 30 seconds arm circles. I like to go one arm at a time on these. Um, so you could go 15 each side and then in the second round reverse the direction of that, okay? One arm at a time I find helps me to get a more a larger range of motion. And then we are gonna do 30 seconds of inchworm to push up. So if you need to step out a little wider and make it easier to reach the floor, that's okay. Try and walk your hands out. Go ahead and do a push up at the bottom and then walk your feet up to your hands uh, if you're able to, or you can just walk your hands back. It's 30 seconds of that and then 30 seconds of lunges on each side. This is a range of motion lunge. So um, not just going down and holding the lunge, but going down and stepping back up. Two rounds of that, and then we'll get into our workout. Our workout today is called Stumpy Tail Cattle Dog. Yes, that is not just a title, that is the dog's name. So poor dog didn't get a, a very interesting name, but they are cool looking dogs. You should look them up. They look uh, kind of like a mix between a, a Blue Heeler and Australian Shepherd, uh, but they are naturally born with a bobtail. That's where they got the name. Okay, seven rounds for time. Seven rounds of seven single arm dumbbell thrusters. So you only need uh, one dumbbell for this part. In one arm going down into the bottom of a squat, I like to use my other arm to uh, kind of bring it out and up, hold my balance, keep my chest nice and tall on these. We don't wanna be setting that arm on our leg. We don't wanna be pushing off that leg. So bring that other arm up, okay? Dumbbells resting on your shoulder down in the squat, come up as soon as you hit the top of the squat, once your hips are fully open, you can squeeze your butt, then you're gonna punch that dumbbell up and then bring it right back down. And you will not begin to squat again until your dumbbell hits your shoulder. So I don't want you squatting while your arm is still in the air. Let that arm, let that dumbbell hit your shoulder and then back down into the squat and continue. Seven on one side, then switch. Seven on the other side. Then we are gonna do seven push-ups. If we've got two dumbbells, we are having our hands on our dumbbells for these push-ups. Um, we can scale these to knee push-ups as well. If you've only got one dumbbell, um, you can practice one arm, but otherwise, just to keep it even, you can go ahead and take that dumbbell away. Seven push-ups, um, again, scale to knee if we need to. And then we will do a 5, 10, 15 meter shuttle run. Good way to measure this out, just get a couple things to mark your spots on these. Um, a step, one big step is about a meter, uh, depending on your height, it may be a little more, maybe a little less, but the focus on this is not necessarily the distance, but the quick speed and the working on our turnaround, okay? So you will run out five meters, run back, run out 10 meters, run back, and then run out 15 meters and run back. On our turnaround, we don't want a slow looping turnaround, okay? We wanna touch our foot, plant, turn, and then go back the other way. We want speed on these ones, right? We're going seven rounds for time. Um, so we want this to be as quick as possible, okay? Those are our movements and scales for Stumpy Tail Cattle Dog. Hope you guys have fun with that and keep track of your time. Our accessory workout today is three rounds of two movements, 40 seconds work, uh, 20 seconds rest, okay? So our 40 seconds work, our first movement is alternating side crunches. So in a crunch pose, knees up, elbows up, hands kind of next to our head, crunching one elbow to one knee and then one elbow to the other knee sideways. So we're on our back. This allows us to alternate from side to side on knees and really think about not just bringing your elbow to your knee, but for that extra uh, strong, difficult crunch, try and bring your shoulder as far as you can towards that knee, okay? 
then you're gonna rest 20 seconds, then you are gonna do bicycle crunches for 40 seconds. So on your back, again, hands in the same position, we are extending one leg and then alternating, extending the other. If you get a circular motion, kind of that's why it's called a bicycle crunch. But um, if you have trouble with that, uh, go ahead and just alternate which leg goes out, which leg goes back. And then same thing with our shoulders. It is a crunch, so the knee that's in, you're gonna bring that shoulder towards that knee, alternating. All right, that is accessory. Stretching is all about um, kind of uh, rolling out today. So if you've got a foam roller, if you've got a lacrosse ball, um, that's what we want to use. If not, we can come up with some other stretches um, to open up our, the first one is 30 seconds lacrosse ball, shoulder smash. So working on the front, working on the side, working around the back. Um, if you don't have a ball or something to uh, massage your shoulder with, foam roll or something like that, go ahead and just do some stretches here and use your hands to stretch away maybe stretch across your body um, and even kind of stretch behind. You can send your arm up and back and just work it for 30 seconds each side. Then you're gonna work your hamstring. So again, you can do a hamstring stretch, but if you've got a lacrosse ball, um, foam roller, sit on that right underneath your hamstring. One I like is sitting on a box, putting a lacrosse ball under my hamstring and then flexing uh, and extending. So 30 seconds each side for that one. And then the last one is the quad, so flipping over. And again, working our quads. Um, same thing I like to do with my hamstring, put the lacrosse ball on my quad and then flexing and extending my leg for that. So 30 seconds each side. Again, if you don't have a ball, just do some stretches there. Um, it's just a nice cool down. It feels painful, but in a good way. Okay, that is our Friday workout. Thank you for watching. And we've got one more this week, so we will see you tomorrow.